So now we're ready to insert the chest drain, uh, which is a more definitive way to drain your pneumothorax. We've done our needle decompression, which has stabilised the baby. We've stabilised our airway, whether that's continuing CPAP or um, intubation. Um, and note the position I have the baby in. We have a right-sided pneumothorax. Baby's arm is lifted up and baby should be tilted so that the air will come, the free air will come up and you'll be able to hit the air pocket easier. And you, you will always have an assistant to stabilise the baby and hold the arm above the head. So that is our position. Remember pain relief, so whether you give it'll be at the senior discretion, fentanyl, ketamine, and we always will inject some uh, local anaesthetic uh, lignocaine uh, into the in insertion site. So as you can see, we have our sterile trolley set up, our appropriate cleaning fluid, syringe, with the needle on the end and secured. We have our guide wire, our dilator and our pigtail chest tube with the spigot for the end. And pre-prepared earlier uh, the chest drain bottle and for securing we would normally put a suture in the skin, wrap it round the drain and then steri strip to the skin with tegaderm on the top. So we've created a sterile field and you have scrubbed in your surgical gown and sterile gloves. We have the, our assistant holding the baby with an arm above the head and we clean the area with appropriate cleaning fluid, creating a big sterile field and waiting for 30 seconds once that's done. We've already injected our local anaesthetic and cleaned the area and you're going to go in so go in above the rib below through the intercostal muscles into the pleural space withdrawing as you go until you hit the air pocket and you'll feel air nicely coming back. Take your syringe off, take your guide wire and you can see on the guide wire there's a little hook so the white bit comes over that, attach that to the end of your needle and insert your guide wire. This bit can be quite fiddly but you want to go in and you can see this bit here that is one of your markers so that will go to the end of the needle Take the white bit off, remove your syringe or your needle holding on to the guide wire as you go so that it doesn't displace and that comes off the end. That is the sharp so make sure you keep yourself safe and get rid of that. Take your dilator, that's going to just create a bigger hole in the skin to make it easier to get your drain through. So dilator is over the top and dilate the skin. So wait about 10 seconds and just gently roll that in your hands. Again, take your dilator off and you will see blood coming from the skin. So you can just get rid of that with your swab. This is the tricky bit. Because of the pigtail catheter is curved at the end. Again, you want to keep a hold of your guide wire. And put your pigtail over the top. Always 
just make sure you're holding on to your guide wire during insertion. And push the chest tube in until all the holes disappear through the skin. And usually you will go to the first marker. Once you've done that, you can pull your guide wire out.